I'm living in a 16th century house with mice in the wall and four cats. So, you know, these mice, they're... Their life expectancy ain't that great, so I think we should we should build them a house so that they at least have something nice. So I got these tongue depressors and these mixing sticks. Uh, so I'm thinking we could probably glue like a nice panel-looking thing. Oh no! All right. I should probably use wood glue, but then I'd have to go to the basement and... I don't want to do that. Yes, I definitely should have, like, cut the windows and doors out before gluing, but... Uh, um. My motto is, do before you think. Um, that way, you didn't actually think of the bad idea, you just... You just kinda did it, so you know, it's, it's not your fault. So let's just leave these to dry under a completely useless book. So just to make sure, let's add a, a useful book. That's right. Go to hell, you piece of wood. It was a mistake not to cut the voluptuous bits before gluing. Because this is not going to stand up to a saw. It's just going to be shredded. So I think... Uh, I think knife is probably our best bet. So I'm thinking we could use a plywood base and sort of build the house on that. So what is the width of one of these? Uh, 14 and some change. Oh, we could just... Being a fool! 14 and some change. 14 and some change. Now why did I mark that on the wrong side? I'm not a smart man. In fact, I'm an idiot. Okay, so that should work quite nicely. I will only need three sides because the back wall is going to be directly against the wall. And the, the hole for the mice to get in and out will be around here. So these three sides and then this one in the front to cover the uh, space for the for the roof. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's try the tiny rotor tool uh, to cut out the the windows and the door. Um, safety glass holes because you never know when these are gonna crack and uh, poke you in the eye. Let's not use the rotary tool. Let's just use a knife. Fucking garbage. Oh. Oh, okay. Still works. Yeah, that's a window. Now we're gonna lose a lot of structural stability, but... You know, that's the price you pay if you wanna... If you wanna do hard drugs. You lose your skeleton, your bones, you just fall out. It's awful. Yeah. You're gonna have to go deeper into the backing pops. 
stick hold stick. Yeah, that's good enough. We can probably use this piece to make the door out of later. Okay, so I did a bonehead move. Um, I started cutting out the window, and then I realized that the support is on the bottom, so it's it's not gonna fit. Well, it was a mistake, but let's just keep going. I'm not gonna. Let's not dwell on that. Yeah. That didn't really work. I'm gonna have to fix that whole thing. Ah! Why am I like this? I can't even make a mouse house. Deep breath! Deep breath! <laughs> Okay, uh, I think this piece was there. That piece should go there. Uh, this piece, I'm guessing there. Let's go up this side too. So that's the house. Now um, I made the windows way too big because now the scale of this window it doesn't really match the scale of, um, of the front here. This is way more cartoony and this is obviously not realistic but you know it's more realistic than this. It doesn't matter. This is a house for mice. They're not gonna care. Uh, let's let's paint it before we before we move on. The thing about painting is that it's always boring. It doesn't really matter if it's just a small thing like this or if it's like a house or something. It's never fun. I hate it. So to calculate the, the length of roof sheeting we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to do some, some math. Uh, so one plus one equals uh, two, and then we carry the remainder 12, um, no, no, uh, 1 plus 1 equals uh, 12. No! Oh! Okay. Uh, I guess. Let's use more of these stirring sticks and just kind of make uh, make a border and then paint that. Um, it's gonna be the same thing, on the, you know, around the house. But that's gonna be really finicky, so I'm gonna do that off camera. And you know, who cares? It's not a complicated construction, so uh, I mean, you're not missing much. I cut some pieces of 
of fabric. Um, but I don't know what, what to do with them, so uh, let's just try something. I'm gonna use another melt, uh, another stick, and put some hot melt glue, I guess. Seems like a good place to start. Okay, uh, so curtains, they're like, you know, folded, right? Let's let's fold. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's something. It's something. Um, let's do the same for the for the other side and see what happens. So let's fold this up too. This really looks like shit, though. This is terrible. Absolutely fucking garbage. But what did I expect making curtains for a mouse house? Yeah, but let's just glue this in. Because I'm not gonna be spending time making curtains for a mouse house. This is just gonna have to do. Okay, so we are nearing completion. Um, I'm gonna just fix the roof real quick. I took an off cut. You know, from, from the side there, and I just bent it. And I figured we could hot snot that in place, and then we got these uh, panels up here. And I'm thinking we're just gonna just hot snot it from, from the back side there. Um, so let's, let's just hot glue everything. You know, if Apple can do that to our computers and and phones, then we can do that to a mouse house. Yeah. That would be acceptable. So to light the mouse house, let's use uh, this circuit. It's it's just a light sensor. Um, so this very basic circuit is just a transistor, uh, and then we have these two resistors. Uh, it's uh, one 100k and 147k, but I'm going to use a a 200k trim pot with the uh, light dependent resistor. They form a a voltage divider, uh, so that when the resistance changes in the resistor, uh, light dependent resistor, the transistor turns on and the LED turns on. So my idea is that in the mouse house, when it gets dark, uh, the light comes on. Okay, so it's time to install the mouse house in the wall. And I'm thinking, kind of like that. Because I know the mice are behind this wall, because they are in the kitchen and the kitchen is on the other side. Now this is a little high up, but I don't want to have this on the floor, because it would get ruined. But this is a porous board, a kind of fibrous thing, so I don't think they have any trouble climbing on the inside, because they are on the upstairs as well. There we go. There's a little mouse hole in the wall. So let's do the rest of the holes. Yeah, okay. Let's put the door in. on top. Let's turn on the lights. There we go! Mouse house! So now the only problem is that I'm not really sure what mice eat, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting some some oats in here. Oh that's finicky. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. nuts and stuff through the door and the rest of the ceiling. So if you have any idea what mice eat, uh, kindly tell me. Oh, well, let's let's try to turn off the light. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. 
Okay, another sauce. Done. Installed. Cool.